Howdy folks, it's Altrell here and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. We are going to continue the Discover Sweden Bush trip today. We did the first three legs many, many months ago. Then there's a bug where you couldn't continue bush trips unless you flew it straight through. So we had to take a break. And then when they fixed the bug, we finished the Discover Norway bush trip first. And now we're going to finish Discover Sweden. One leg per video, so legs 1, 2, and 3 are already done. Search the channel for those. Leg 4 today leg five next time and now to complete this bush trip i've been enjoying this one i went back and had to fly the first three legs again to re-catch us up to leg four but it was fine i just set the gps and let it run and checked on it and um not much train or anything to worry about this one is pretty much just flat land the entire time but it's still beautiful so we'll have a low low altitude and we'll just fly along and look at stuff so here we go continuing with leg four all right, we'll come down here and repair and refuel. And for this one, we have to be careful for the fuel transfer. What this does is it always uses the left tank. And then when it gets low, you hit fuel transfer, which dumps fuel from the right tank into the left tank. And then when they're balanced again, you turn it off and so on and so on. If you have it on, it reminds you here so you can't forget. Um, Can I not get rid of this? Thank you. Uh, wind... Doesn't really matter in the bush trips, but let's turn it on anyway. Um, what else can we do with this? We're going to use the timer from here. It is easier than using it on the nav log. We'll zoom this out a little bit. And let's see if we can remember. We have flaps already down. Let's see if we can remember what we're doing, where we're going. We'll set up autopilot, all that stuff. I assume those of you watching have watched my other bush trips but those of you who have not because you're just trying to figure out part of a bush trip and you search this welcome to the channel like subscribe we are going through all the bush trips and then once we're caught up we'll do some other things and then when they introduce more bush trips we'll do more bush trips and i do take subscribe requests for regular flights so put those in the comments below all righty here we go we're headed to echo sierra montana <laughs> echo sierra mike tango veggie Vedigi. Launch from Gothenburg Landvetter Airport and strike a course south. Fly just inland of the beautiful coastline until you reach the town of Vedig Vedig. Vedig, something like that. Alright, so we do not get GPS because I started this in the middle. If you start at the beginning and fly all the way through, you get GPS full time, but that's no fun. So here we go. We want to go 171 degrees. Uh, why is it so far over compared to my other presets and other planes? Whatever. 171. Where's my mouse on my desk? There it is. One. Wrong way. Let's go this way. It's a little bit faster to go this way. 171. My S's are whistling today. I don't know why. Sorry about that. Oh my gosh, it's really bad. Oof, drive me crazy. Alright, 171. Uh, four. Ten and a half minutes. 171 for ten and a half minutes. Sorry, we're gonna keep a very, very low altitude for these last two legs. I mean, like, we might not even hit 2,000 feet. Let's see, we're 500 above sea level. So if we go 2,000, that gets us about 1,500 above. Let's do 2,000. And if we need to, we will um, climb. But whatever, we'll just do this 800 feet per minute using nav nav why won't nav go oh heading sorry that's why we don't have nav i use nav in the other leg there we go jeez i use nav when i reflew the first three legs that's what was in my mind okay i think we're set i think we are set i don't think this has um prop lever nope uh yeah, different airplane, but we got it, right? Nothing complicated or anything. I'm so used to flying that other plane from um, <laughs> the Norway bush trip. I'm just kind of regaining my bearings. Let's look outside super fast. Just so we can get an idea of the new train for the different bush trip. Looking good. My G-Sync is making things look smooth. All right, I'm not running HDR. Looks terrible. Uh, but look at all those trees. Wow. I cannot wait to get in the air and fly this. All right, here we go. Enough messing around. Let's take off the parking brake and give it some juice. There we go. 
and we'll start the timer once we're in the air. We're gonna go for 10 minutes. We'll use autopilot just so we can look around without worrying about anything. Otherwise, um, we would hand fly. But we use autopilot, not much train to worry about. And then we can um, look around. The brakes have stopped the wheels. Gear is fixed in this one. Let's get a little bit of altitude here before we engage autopilot. Looking around. Fantastic. Wow. All right. Let's um, get to the other runway, then we'll engage autopilot here. Do about 800 feet per minute? That's why. Didn't, didn't this go? Vertical speed, 800 feet per minute. I guess I turned off um, flight director for a second to fix the heading nav thing. Autopilot, here it is. Smooth as silk handoff. The other co-pilot has some things to tell us, which we don't really care about because we know we've been doing this enough. All right. Check out that little lake. That's gorgeous. And it's hunting for its path. All right. 171 degrees for 10 and a half minutes. I don't really have a whole lot I need to say. I don't think I do. Um... If I keep talking, it'll just be rambling, rambling, rambling. I don't have any stories or anything. But this does remind me of a Minecraft lake within the jungle biome. Otherwise, there we go. Alright, let's see here. Anything else we need to do before I hand you off to some sightseeing? Nope. We're just headed to Vedigidge or something. And we'll climb to 2,000 feet. I'll watch my speed, my RPMs, and I'll do my fuel transfer as I need to because this thing sucks. Um, sucks fuel like crazy. Alright, good. That is it. I will figure out where we're headed on the map, and I'll see you in a little bit after some sightseeing. Alright, I forgot to start the timer, so I cheated and looked at Google Maps to see where we're going. We are going right here to where that river has that little tiny bump. That's our, um, that's our town of Veggieville, or whatever it's called, Vedge. That's where we're headed, and then we will, um, start the timer for the next, for the next section here. So, if you look out here, there's that lake, so it's going to be right up in here. Um, this altitude is clearly the best altitude for this particular bush trip. No train to worry about, yet yeah, we can still see everything. Because that's the thing we talk about, right? Some of the bush trips, especially the next one we do in the mountains. Um, you want to be able to clear the train. But you also want to fly in the valleys so you can see stuff. But in this scenario, you just fly nice and low you can see everything. So, Alright, we're coming up on our little deal, so let's show you what we're doing next here. In a moment, we're going to turn to 162 degrees to continue our southward journey to the coastal city of Falkenberg. 
a beautiful tourist destination located on the river Altron. Okay, so 162 for 10 minutes in a second here once we catch up with where we're going. I think our city is just off the nose because there's the bump in the water. So we're going to fly directly over our city, which is fine. We'll just have to go outside to get some views of it. Because when you fly over something in an airplane, you don't get to see what's under you, obviously. Um, let's see. What do we need to do? Anything else before we change our stuff? Nope. Let's hop outside and get a view here so we can see the city as we fly over it, and then um, we'll continue on our way. wonder if that's for power lines to run through or something, when they cut a line through the, through the forest. A lot of cute little ponds and lakes, I love that stuff. There we go. There's our town we want to look for. Vedige. Vedige? Vedige? I don't know how you would say it in Swedish, but anyway, there it is. Very, very cool. So, have a good look. Pause the video if you want to. Rewind the tape because it is time. It is time to hop inside and continue on our thing. So, what are we going to do? We're going to do 162 degrees for 10 minutes. So, 162 will be this way. Come on, turn the right away, please. 162. And we're going to start the timer this time. And we're going to go for 10 minutes, so not much of a change there. It says Coastal Town. So if we're going to go... Well, that might, well, that's your airport there, right? There's your airport. And that's seven and a half minutes away from the town we're headed to. So 10 and 7, so the town is probably right on that little bump, I would think. If I have my calculations or estimations right. It's probably this little bay you see. I don't think I can zoom in on it. We'll lose it. Yeah, it's probably this, like, bay thing. Alrighty, so that's where we're headed, the coastal town of Falkenberg. And when we get there, we'll read about our airport and land for our penultimate leg of the Swedish bush trip. See you after some more sightseeing. There's our coastal town right off the nose, like directly off the nose. And then it's before this bump, right? It's in this little cutout thing here. Bonk, bonk. So when we get up there, we will look at the, um, the town from the outside. In the meantime, let's see here. We have uh, runway orientation. Kind of a dog leg. So we'll set up for that in a moment. Let's read about it while we're approaching our town, though. Homestead, just under 17 nautical miles and land at Homestead. That's easy. It's 135, 726. However, we'll just use your GPS to find it. And then we'll land. Not terribly complicated. This is probably the easiest bush trip I've ever done, which is kind of nice because some of them do get very tricky. Um, Navigation-wise, the Nevada trip, the very first one, that was the hardest because you didn't have a map like this. And didn't have GPS or anything. You just had the nav log and your VFR map. And that was really tricky. Not sure how I figured that one out. I didn't even Google anything either. This is a tricky one. 
Alright, there's the main highway running through. Can't really see it because the seat's in the way. There we go. With a wooden farm. Alrighty, let's hop outside and peek at the town. Then we will make our turn towards the airport and we'll land. Very simple. But enjoyable nonetheless. Here we go. Let's go like this. Looks kind of green. I know they're working on that. Getting the green off the road and things, but it's still fine. Especially for us OG simmers who just looked at pixels on the screen and said, that's a building. Okay. <laughs> I don't mind green roads. Although that looks like a Hot Wheels playset down there. Very cartoonish looking town, but that's okay. Get the idea. Alright, um... Yeah, and by cartoonish, I mean the autogen. Alright, there you go. Nice. If you want to keep looking, pause it, rewind the tape, whatever you want to do. Although, I'll give the people who want to see the coast over here. One shot at looking. Um, and then we'll make our turn towards the airport. I can actually see the airport under the wing. Way off in the distance. There you go. Some roundabouts. That's a cool looking neighborhood there with the ellipses. Right? Ellipse? Yeah. Alright. Here we go. Time to put the toys away and head, what, 135. 135 goes this way. Boom. And we don't really need the timer anymore because we know where it is. Stop, please. Jeez, we'll be, so let's put that away so we have to look at it. Alright, we know where we're headed. We're headed here. We are only 2,000 feet above sea level, so we're not going to come down until probably the very end. And then we'll find our pattern, whichever way you want to do. We'll probably dog leg left, come down and land. So a little bit more sightseeing for you all along the coast here. While we look at the Minecraft clouds. And I'll see you in a moment. We're getting pretty close. I don't exactly see the runway yet. Um, our nose is pointing. Our nose is pointing at the end. It's not here, is it? Um, we might have to fly and then circle to land. It could be this area. Yeah, that does look pretty close, doesn't it? Um, was it right here? Maybe. Perhaps it is. Maybe it's there. Um, could be. I don't know. I really can't see it. Let's take control of our own airplane, though. And head that direction. And then s curve around to land. That can't be it. Maybe it's this. Yeah, there it is. It's this big thing there. Okay, there we go. Finally. I was wondering how in the world we would not be able to see that from here, <laughs> but we almost missed it. All right, um, let's start coming down a little bit. Bring back throttle so we descend, and we will attitude up a little bit, pitch up a little bit so we slow down as well. Looking out the window a few more times, just because we can. It's so gorgeous. I really enjoyed this push trip after doing long norway one this one is nice super simple super easy just floating along all right let's bring back throttles and nose up so we slow down and get into flap range gears already down because it's fixed and there's our airport very good very straight forward although you still have to know how to fly a plane right you have to know how to do the plane flying part, and then you have to know how to do the navigation part. Although when you have a map, it's not that hard. But um, you remember reading the achievements 
web, there's like a website for achievements, how to get achievements, and someone's like, for the bush trip, you just fly the bush trip. And someone's like, I need more detail, like how to start the plane and move the plane. It's like, if you need those details, you're not a bush trip. Don't know why I bring that up. Oh, I know why I brought that up, because I said this is very straightforward and simple, but simple if you already know what you're doing, I guess. <laughs> All right, let's see here. We are coming down. We're a little high, but not for long. Nice and easy. We're really fast. Get the first set of flaps out. This flaps will slow us down. You're not supposed to use them as brakes, but secretly I am. What can we do for second flaps? 98 knots. There's 95. We can do second flaps. There we go. That'll slow us down. Nice and easy. That's going to slow us down a lot, actually. All right, whoop, a little bit to the left. There we go. Throttle so we don't um, descend any more than we are. And we have a very long runway, so we don't have to land on the very end. Like some of the push trips in the mountains, when you land, you got to land right at the end of the runway and stop as fast as you can. But not this one. We can take our time. We'll tease the stall horn a little bit at touchdown. Hopefully not 15 feet up like you did in the G36 every single time. Here we go. And just coast ground effects. There they are. Hold it off as long as you can. There we go. And those wheel down very gently and brakes. And hope for that save icon. Where are you, save icon? Come on. All right, there we go. All right, that's it, the penultimate leg. That took us like seven minutes more than I was supposed to. Anyway, final leg next time. Um, it's time for me to go to bed. You can tell I'm by my quiet voice that I've been doing this late at night tonight. So anyway, one like per video, like, subscribe so you can see the final leg when it's uploaded, and I'll see you then.